Hey Marner Shavers, it's Terry here. It's been about a week since I've done a shaving video. I've been a little preoccupied uh, with my DIY outdoor bench. So that's kind of kept me busy. Um, but today I'm going to do a shave of the day video for you using a brand new razor that I've got in my collection. Let's see if I can zoom in on this. Yeah. <clears throat> It's a Tears Ezert Legrillo, new old stock that I've had in my collection for about, um, I guess, six years. Never shaved with it, but I'm going to do the Virgin Shave today. It's a nice razor. It's got jimps on the bottom, jimps on top, plastic scales, unfortunately, as well as the wedge shiny plastic for what that's worth uh, it was a little loose when I first opened it so I've taken it to my bald peen hammer and a little anvil and I've peened it right there it's a one-sided peen what it is it's like a little tack goes through here and it's got a little grommet on the other side and they snip it and peen it so what I've done is I've peened it on this end here and that kind of tightened it up for me fairly well so I'm happy with that Sorry, I'm drifting on a focus there. My apologies. So I'm gonna shave with this today and uh, let you know what I think about it. I've already stropped it. I've prepared my lather and I've already prepped my face um, with hot towel. So I'm gonna do some pre-shave and get the shave going. So for my pre-shave, I'm going to use Parasa White again. So one of the comments I received in my previous video was uh, to mention how I how I hone some of these blades. Uh, well, to answer that question directly, this this is a brand new razor, so it shouldn't need honing. It was supposed to be shave ready out of the box, so I'm going to test that, see if that's the case. I've stropped it on linen, followed by my leather strop. I've already prepped my lather, so... So this is my soap today. Crabtree and Evelyn, West Indian Lime. I really like the smell of this. I think it's been a week since I've shaved, so I don't have a lot of hair growth like most guys. So I'm lucky in that respect, but uh, I have just enough so that I can shave every day or two. And um, I enjoy shaving, so it's not a bother for me to shave at all. Now, as you can see, it is a round tip. So for beginners, this this is a good razor to start with or anything with a round tip because you don't have to worry about accidentally cutting yourself. It's pulling a little bit, so I'm probably gonna have to touch it up. Um, as a matter of fact, I think what I'll do is I'll grab one of my cuticles and see if I can touch it up a bit. So I'll be back in one minute. 
So there's one of my aquatic use. I'm just gonna use this side here. I guess I didn't need to apply it all over my face since I've already done the right side, but oh so like this. Yeah, it's still catching a bit. Sorry, I had to go back to my mirror because I can't see off that little LCD screen. Not very well, anyhow. Okay, so based on the 20 laps or whatever I did on the Lay Latin News, it is shaving a lot better. It's not uh, pulling as much and it's a fair bit smoother so I'm happy with that yeah all I needed was a quick little touch up and you saw me do it right here didn't take much effort at all. Okay, so that was the first pass. First pass, so now we're gonna do the second pass. Across the grain. So whether you do from your ears to your nose or your nose to your ears, that's totally up to you. Oops, sorry, I'm out of focus there. If you're new to straight razor shaving, you will appreciate having a round tip, very much so if you've got a squarish jawline like myself and you need to shave under here, that round tip really helps. It's also good to test various points of your razor to see where it's sharpest and I find it's just a little sharper here than up in the front. No, correction. It's a little sharper in the back than in the middle but the front is also very sharp. When you get the hair, you just gotta be careful, you don't accidentally slip and nick your ear. So, that's one of the drawbacks of going from your nose to your ear, uh, just, just when you get to this part here. Likewise, if you're going this way, you could accidentally nick your ear lobe or your nostril as you're finishing off here.
but it's all about control. So I finished my second pass. I've got a little bit here that I missed, so I'll finish that off and go through a little more. Go through this area a little bit more um, thoroughly when I do my third pass. A little wet When I get to my neck area, I tend to take smaller strokes, not like big strokes, but small strokes. And I've got a bone right there, so I have to be really careful when I'm shaping around it. I just did my full, well, I guess you call it full fast, um, just against the grain, right above my mustache, or right on my mustache area, and it's fairly smooth. I'm pretty pleased with that. What I'm doing is I'm just raking it really slowly and really 
gently just to get the last bit off this trouble area there. Just, uh, I just rinsed the razor under hot water. Don't go shaking it in the sink because chances are you might nick that blade. So just rinse it under your tap, get a piece of tissue paper, and then wipe it dry. Okay, so I will quickly strop this guy. area it's fairly clean here it's still a little rough there but that's okay I'm happy with that anyways don't have a steady hand I guess <clears throat> overall I'm fairly pleased with the shave and I'm just gonna finish off with old spice after spoof Now I'm going to be outside doing a little bit of painting today, so I'm going to put on some moisturizer and it's got SPF 15. And you've probably all heard it before, but it's important to put on sunscreen every day. Honestly, I don't always do it, but um, when I do remember, I, I will put it on. But there we go. Hope you enjoyed the shave of the day with this Tears Ezerd Blue Grillo NOS Straight Razor. If you have any questions, please hit me up in the comment box below. Uh, please subscribe to this channel. And uh, if you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up and share as always. Okay guys, thanks a lot for watching this video. Have a great day and we'll see you next time. Stay sharp, stay clean. Take care.